Just reading, you, you, moved, you moved to Lincoln, your name was already Lincoln. When you moved Virginia Governor George Allen and First Lady Susan Allen are all smiles as they welcome participants to the Republican Governor's Conference. In, uh, in 92, I was the only Republican governor to turn in a Democrat seat. They are incumbents like Governor Jim Edgar of Illinois and governors-elect like George Bush of Texas and Lincoln Allman of Rhode Island, about 30 Republican chief executives in all. Their country brunch includes eggs and sausage and bacon and berries and muffins. Many were elected on a platform of change. As this week goes on, these state leaders can be expected to call for a new menu from Washington on the role of government. Will your job be easier now with the Republicans in charge of both houses? Well, I don't want anybody in Washington dictating to us. I don't care if the Republicans, Democrats, or independents. Governor Allen calls it self-determination. Others call it new federalism. But whatever you call it, new governors like George Bush say they want less federal government. Won't they also pull out some of their funding and leave you and some of the other governors with a lot of programs you'll have to pick up? Well, look, there's no question that if there's funding, retreat on funding and the mandates remain in place, we'll be worse off. Well, I think the federal government ought to get smaller, but I don't think that means then the state government ought to get bigger. And like Governor Allen, Governor Edgar of Illinois is calling for a smaller federal government with a shorter reach. Election's over. These Republican governors expect relations with Washington to improve now that the GOP controls the Congress. But they say they'll take nothing for granted and push for their reforms just the same. At the Republican Governors Conference in Colonial Williamsburg, Michael Ford, WTVR News Channel 6.